Hey, what's up? Welcome back. In this quick tutorial, I want to show you how you can create an anchor link, or it's also known as a jump link, with Elementor, and it's very easy to do. First, let me show you how it works. Over here, you see the home page of the website, and if you scroll all the way down, then you will see the section recommended resources. And for this example, I have created two links. Over here, you can see a text link. And below that you can see a button and if I click on it for example this text link over here if I click on it now you see that automatically the page will scroll down to the recommended resource section and let me show you for the button also so if I click on this button it will scroll down to the recommended resources and you can set it up for each part of the website that you want to so that it scrolls to that certain section. Very easy, you can do it in two simple steps. So this is how it works. And now let me show you how you can set this up. And over here you can see I have opened up the Elementor editor for the homepage of the website. And the steps that you need to take to set up the anchor links are as follows. First thing you have to add a widget to your website that you want to design or the web page you want to design. And for this example, I have added a heading, as you can see over here, and below that I have added a button. No link has been added yet, so we're going to do that in a few seconds. But it's good to know that you can set up anchor links for every widget in Elementor, or columns, or sections, or anything that you can add a link to. And it's very easy to do, so the first thing you need to do is you have to go to the uh, widget section that you can see by clicking over on this icon now you can see all the widgets and now you can type in anchor like this and then there's only one widget that will show up that's the, the menu anchor and you need to drag this to the part of the website that you want to scroll to whenever a user clicks on the anchor link so for this example I want to uh, drag it all the way down over to the recommended resources so that's uh, below of the page now I drag this widget above the heading widget so you can see it over here the menu anchor and now what you need to do is you can set up an ID so for this example I'm going to set up the ID like this I will call it example anchor you can use any text that you want to, but the most important thing is that this text has to also be used for the links that I'm gonna set up. So that's what I'm going to do now. It's also good to know that this widget is not visible for users on the website. So it's basically code that you add to the page. So I'll copy this and now I scroll up to the part where I have added the heading widget and now I'm going to set up the link and over here you can enter the same text that you have used for the anchor widget so I'll paste it and the only thing that you need to do is you have to add this hash sign in front of the word that you use so now it's like this and I'll copy it and I will also set it up for the button so I click on the button then I paste it and now when you click on update everything will be saved and then you can use the link and it's also um, you can also use it from within the uh, Elementor editor so you don't have to go to the website as a visitor now if I click on it you can see it scrolls down to this part and if I set this widget uh, for example, over here. Oh, now it's uh, also with the title. Doesn't matter. I will correct it in a few seconds. But if if I now click on the link, you see that it also scrolls to this part. So you can set it up exactly how you want it to be. It's very easy to do. So nothing hard or difficult about this. So I hope you learned something new. If that's the case, make sure that hit the thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. And with that being said, I want to say thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you back again in the next one.